Hi everyone, Miss Dolman and Lucy here. Every year, the Earth takes a trip around the sun, and this is called a revolution. Now within this time period, the Earth has four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Now these seasonal changes are due to the way the Earth is tilted in space. And here's the spring about it. You can never really know too much about the seasons. Enjoy! Oh, what a beautiful day. There's my friend Bunny. Hello, Lucy. Today we're going to learn about springtime. Oh, how fun! Spring equinox marks the first day of spring. It occurs around March 20th through the 21st in the Northern Hemisphere and around September 22nd or 23rd in the Southern Hemisphere. Spring equinox has an equal amount of day and night. As spring moves along, days get longer and nights get shorter. This increase in daylight hours causes a few changes. Sorry I didn't have a raincoat in your size. That's okay, Lucy. For most areas, the weather in springtime can change quickly. It can go from dry to rainy, even on the same day. Spring is usually the rainiest season for a lot of areas. The increase of rain, daylight hours, and temperatures are great for plant growth. Flowers start to bloom and vegetation turns green. A lot of people work in their gardens during the springtime months. It's a great time to plant seeds and watch as they grow and develop into healthy plants. Well, 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 I'm a little parched. Water's good for me too. All animals need water to survive. And speaking of animals, what do animals do in spring? Remember that bears go into hibernation in the winter time. Hibernation is a seasonal state of inactivity or rest. The animal's heart rate and activity slowed down to conserve energy, similar to a deep sleep. When springtime arrives, they come out of hibernation because it's warmer and food availability is increased. Oh, hi, Ducky. I haven't seen you in a while. Migration is when some animals move seasonally from one place to another. They travel to warmer climates in the fall and winter months. In the springtime, they travel back. Examples of animals that migrate are the white-tailed deer and some types of moose. Animals that migrate move based on the season. They may travel because of the climate, available food sources, or to find a more suitable location to have babies. Speaking of babies, many animals have babies in the spring and fall. Baby chicks hatch from eggs. Chicks are first covered in a fine down coat. Then, in about 7 to 12 weeks, feathering will start. Other animals also get bigger and change over the next few weeks and months. This is Ollie. Soon, he will be as big as his dad, who is in the two pictures on the right. It takes dogs about one to two years to become adults. While growing up, all animals learn new skills. This is Cam, and he's learning how to swim. Cam is a 12-week-old Portuguese water dog. Babies go exploring and make new friends. Sometimes new babies discover each other. What are some of the springtime holidays? April Fool's Day is April 1st. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just me. <laughs> Easter, the dates vary from year to year. Easter can fall anywhere from late March through the third week of April. Earth Day is April 22nd. Oh, so beautiful. May Day is May 1st. Cinco de Mayo is May 5th. Mother's Day is the second Sunday in May. Memorial Day is the last Monday in May. 
Why does the season change to spring? Seasonal changes have to do with the way the Earth is tilted in space. Spring occurs when the planet moves from indirect sunlight into more direct light. For an example of this, let's picture a flashlight. See how the flashlight is less bright at the edges and is brightest in the center? When we revolve around the sun, we move from the indirect light during the winter season into the direct light during the summer season. Oh, that was fun! Another way to think of direct sunlight is moving out of the shade. This season is wonderful! I'm glad the Earth springs it on us every year. <laughs> <laughs> well, spring down the curtain because that's our lesson.